Hi there, I am Ucha and welcome back to yet another episode of Music Theory in 5 Minutes. Using extended chord is a great way to add color to your chord progression. We already talked about triads and 7th chord in previous episodes and now have come the time to speak about 9th chords. What are the different types of 9th chord and how to actually use them? As you probably already know, to build a chord, you basically take the notes of the scale you want to use, start with the notes you want to build a chord from, that the notes that will give the chord its name, and then follow the notes of the scale, keeping one note every two. If you keep three notes, you have a triad, which is made of a tonic, a third and a fifth. I'll leave a link in the description to the episode that talks about triads. If you keep four notes, you have a seventh chord, which is made of a tonic, a third, a fifth, and a seventh. I will also leave a link in the description to the episode that talks about seventh chord. And if you keep five notes, then you have a ninth chord, which is made of a tonic, a third, a fifth, a seventh, and a ninth. Then the nature of this ninth chord depends on the interval separating each note, and that is what we'll see now. There are many types of ninth chords, so we'll start with the most commonly used and then finish with the more rare ones. But just before we begin, I'd like to make three notes. First, one thing to keep in mind is that the more extension notes you add above the triad, the more color the chord has. But also the more tension you add, so generally these seventh and ninth notes need to be resolved in one way or another. Second, this ninth note is actually the same note than the second, but one octave higher. So it can introduce friction with the tonic and the third as these notes are very close. To attenuate this friction, it is often advised to keep the ninth an octave higher, so it sounds smoother by letting the chord breathe. But there is no particular rule for that, so you do as you want, really. And third, when you don't play the seventh of a chord, so you only have a triad with a ninth, we call that add nine. And generally, this ninth is a major ninth. So we can have, for example, a C minor add 9, which is a C minor chord plus a major 9th. Or we can have, for example, a C add 9, which is a C major chord with a major 9th added. You'll see in a minute how you can use these chords as there are only variations of other 9th chord I have on my list. So the first type of 9th chord we're gonna see is the dominant 9th, which is simply noted as 9. It is made of a major triad with a minor 7th, so that's a dominant 7th chord, to which we add a major 9th. So for a C chord that would be C, the major 3rd E, the perfect 5th G, the minor 7th B flat, and the major 9th D. This type of chord is often used as a dominant chord on the 5th degree of your tonality, so that would resolve well on a 1st degree for instance. So in C major, for example, the fifth degree would be G. So the progression would be G dominant ninth to a C major chord. And in A minor, a five to one progression would make E dominant ninth to a minor chord. It is also a common practice to omit the fifth in a dominant ninth chord. So you would have only the tonic, the third, the seventh, and the ninth. Now, to add more tension to this dominant 9th chord, you could alter it by lowering it 9th by a semitone. So the chord would be made by the same dominant 7th chord, but with a minor 9th added. This type of chord would be noted 7 flat 9. So for a C chord, it would be made of the root note C, the major 3rd E, the perfect 5th G, the minor 7th B flat, and the minor 9th D flat and it would be used and resolved in the exact same way than the dominant 9th chord. So in the tonality of C major, that would make G7 flat 9 to a C major chord. And in a tonality of A minor, that would make E7 flat 9 to A minor. You could also alter the dominant 9th chord the other way around by moving the 9th upper semitone instead of down. That would make a 7th sharp 9th chord, which is built with a dominant 7th chord to which we add an augmented 9th. This chord is also known as the Hendrix chord, as it was made popular by Jimi Hendrix. We saw that in the episode about blues scale. So for a C chord, it would be made of the root note C, the major 3rd E, the perfect 5th G, the minor 7th B flat, and the augmented 9th D sharp. And again, it is used and resolved just like a dominant 9th chord. So in C major, they would make G7 sharp 9 to C major. And in A minor, they would make E7 sharp 9 to A minor. 
To sum it up, you can use a dominant 7th chord on the 5th degree on your tonality, to which you add either a major 9th, a minor 9th or an augmented 9th, depending on the color you want to add to your chord progression. And that works well in either a major or minor tonality. Then you have a major 9th chord, which is made of a major triad with a major 7th and a major 9th. So that's a major 7th chord to which we add a major 9th. On a C chord that would be made of the root note C, the major 3rd E, the perfect 5th G, the major 7th B and the major 9th D. This is a type of chord you can use on the 1st degree or the 4th degree in a major tonality, but you can also use it on a 3rd and 6th degree of a minor tonality. Using the major 9th chord on these degrees would work better because it would use only the notes already in the scale you're using. So in the tonality of C major, that would mean using a F major 9th for the 4th degree or a C major 9th for the 1st degree. As an example, we can try a chord progression that goes from 1 to 4 and then 4 to 1. Or in the tonality of A minor, we can use a C major 9th chord on the 3rd degree or a F major 9th chord on the 6th degree, for example. So you could make this chord progression. The chord we commonly name minor 9th actually contains a major 9th. The minor 9th chord is made of the minor triad with a minor 7th and a major 9th. So it's like a minor 7th chord with a major 9th added. So on a C chord that would be made of the root note C, the minor 3rd E flat, the perfect 5th G, the minor 7th B flat and the major 9th D. That's a type of chord you can find in a major tonality on the 2nd degree and on the 6th degree, as building a 9th chord on these degrees using only the notes of a major scale would make a minor 9th chord, and in a minor tonality this type of chord can be found on the 1st and 4th degrees. So in the tonality of C major, the 6th and the 2nd degree would be A minor and D minor. This type of chord seems to be a bit more efficient on a 2nd degree just before a 5th degree chord. So that would prepare a nice 2-5-1 chord progression, if you want to resolve that progression totally. So we could make this chord progression. And in the tonality of A minor, for instance, the 4th and the 1st degree would be also a D minor and an A minor, which can go well together. Now we could have a minor triad with a minor 7th and a minor 9th. This type of chord would be noted as minor 7th, minor 9th. For a C chord, for example, that would be made of the root note C, the minor 3rd E flat, the perfect 5th G, the minor 7th B flat and the minor 9th D flat. This is a type of chord you can find in a major tonality on the 3rd degree, and in a minor tonality on the 5th degree. But it is less common in a minor tonality because for a 5th degree chord, a dominant 9th chord is often preferred. So in the tonality of C major, for example, the 3rd degree would be E minor. So we could make that a E minor 7th minor 9th chord. Then we can have a 9th chord built with a diminished triad with a minor 7th and a minor 9th. So it's like a half diminished 7th chord to which we add a minor 9th. I personally like to call this type of chord half diminished 9th, but it is often called simply diminished 9th, which I find a bit confusing. So to avoid confusion, we can call it a half diminished 7th minor 9th with this cross circle that means half diminished. Anyway, on a C chord that would be the root note C, the minor 3rd E flat, the diminished 5th G flat, the minor 7th B flat and the minor 9th D flat. That's a type of chord you could find in a major tonality on the 7th degree for instance, and in a minor tonality on the 2nd degree. But it is more used in minor tonalities as the 7th degree in a major tonality can be analyzed as a 5th degree without the root note. The tension it brings to the chord progression is very similar. So let's see how it sounds in a minor tonality on the second degree. In A minor, the second degree would be B. So a B half diminished ninth would be made of the notes B, D, F, A and C. So that's a lot of different ninth chords already and a lot of options to choose from. But almost all these chords can already be found in a major or minor tonality as they only use the notes from the major and the natural minor scales. Now we are going to see some types of 9th chord that can be a bit trickier to use, and they use notes that are outside of the major and the natural minor scales. But most of these more rare 9th chords can actually be found in the harmonic minor scale. So more options to explore, but maybe a bit trickier to use. 
you can have what I like to call a fully diminished 9th chord. It is made of a diminished triad, a diminished 7th and a minor 9th. So that's like a diminished 7th chord to which we add a minor 9th. To avoid confusion with the previous half diminished 7th minor 9th chord that is sometimes just called diminished 9th, we can call this one diminished 7th minor 9th. So for a C chord that would be the root note C, the minor 3rd E flat, the diminished 5th G flat, the diminished 7th B double flat, which is the same note than an A, and the minor 9th D flat. That is a very dissonant chord, as it contains two intervals of a triton and an interval of a minor second. This is a type of chord that is sometimes used in a minor tonality on the 7th degree. So in the tonality of A minor, there would be a G sharp diminished 7th minor 9th. The augmented 9th chord is made of a major triad with a major 7th and an augmented 9th. That can be noted plus 9 or augmented 9th. So for a C augmented 9th chord, that would be the root note C, the major 3rd E, the perfect 5th G, the major 7th B, and the augmented 9th D sharp. That's a type of chord that is more often used in a minor tonality on the 6th degree. So in A minor, the 6th degree would be F, and we could have this chord progression. You could also have an augmented triad with a major 7th and a major 9th. That would be noted plus 7th major 9th. So for a C plus 7 major 9th chord, that would be the root note C with the major 3rd E, the augmented 5th G sharp, the major 7th B and the major 9th D. This is a type of chord you could find on the 3rd degree in a minor tonality. So this C plus 7 major 9th chord could be the 3rd degree in the tonality of A minor. And finally, you could have a minor triad with a major 7th and a major 9th. So that would be like a minor 9th chord we saw earlier, but with a major 7th instead of a minor one. And that can be noted as minor major 7, major 9. So for a C minor major 7th major 9th chord, that would be the root note C, the minor 3rd E flat, the perfect 5th G, the major 7th B, and the major 9th D. That's a chord that can be a substitute for the first degree in the minor tonality. So in the tonality of A minor, the A minor chord could be replaced by a A minor major 7th major 9th chord at some point. So that are 11 different types of 9th chord to experiment with in your compositions. That's a lot of options. But remember that your chords don't have to be all 9th chords. 9th chords are great to add color to a chord progression, but it may not be the color you want for each chord. So as always, just trust your ears. One way that can be good to voice this ninth chord is to have some notes clustered in the middle, with some notes a bit apart in the bass and some notes a bit apart in the higher notes. So you would have the color of a ninth chord in the middle, but with a more defined bass and a more defined melody. So that's all for me today, so if you liked this video or found it useful, click the like button, and if you want to see more, check out my playlist of music theory in 5 minutes. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.